Welcome to this web lecture on fairness and location, the p-center problem. In a previous web lecture, we already looked into the example of the municipality of Eindhoven considering to build a new ambulance station. And they were asking where they should place those new ambulance stations, looking at cost efficiency, looking at proximity to patients, and also looking into fairness. And actually, when we look into the location covering problem, we do not yet consider fairness at all. So this is what we're looking into now. So the municipality of Eindhoven now considers building exactly N new ambulance stations. And the first question that I'm having is how many different solutions exist if we're trying to build N ambulance stations a, um, among a set of candidate locations? The city of Eindhoven has already figured that out or not because they actually they hired a consultancy firm which drew up a mathematical model, but now the city would like to understand it. They would like to know according to which metric the ambulance stations are placed and what the decision variables are. Let's help them with that. So first of all, what we're actually given still is the sets and the parameters. So we're having locations which comprise candidate locations and patient locations. And we have parameters, which is the number of planned ambulance stations, and we're also given the travel time. We're also given this mathematical model, and this is now what we're trying to understand. So first of all, what we're looking at is this constraint. So we're seeing that the sum overall yi equals to n. We remember that n is the number of ambulance stations, which means that most likely the yi in this case has to refer to opening an ambulance uh, location, ambulance station. So here we're saying, if we open this, then the yi is one, and this is our decision variable in this case. Then we're looking into the upper two constraints, which tell us on the one hand side that at least one uh, x actually has to be open, and secondly, that x has to be smaller or equal to y. And that is, so this is at least one for all patients, which means that X refers to service. So as a patient at this location is being served. Um, so now we know what the decision variables are. So X refers to the flow between um, the ambulance station and the patient location, while Y refers to the opening decision. Now we can look into the objective function. So the objective function actually is only one variable. So we're only minimizing t. <clears throat> and then now we can look into where we actually define t based on the other decision variables. And t is defined down here. So t is at least uh, the travel time between ambulance station and patient if this uh, station is being, if, 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 if there's a flow between these two. And from this, we deduct that we're looking for the largest time overall assignments. So if we're assigning this patient to this ambulance station, then we're, then we're considering the distance between these two. And this is what we're minimizing. So we figured out that we're actually minimizing the maximum duration between a patient and an ambulance station. So if we look at this example, these are, we've, we have quite a few patients and we're opening four ambulance stations, then what we're considering is this patient here, because this patient is the furthest away from any ambulance location or from the ambulance location it's, this person has been assigned to. This, of course, comes with a disadvantage. And I would like you to think about what the disadvantages of this objective function of minimizing t as compared to minimizing some other objective functions. And lastly, let's look into the decision variables. So we've already seen the set and parameters, but now we, we also have decision variables. First of all, we have the maximum travel time t, which is a decision variable. Then we have the decision if the ambulance i in a drives to the patient j and p. And we have an opening decision for ambulance locations, which is yi. What I would like you to take away from this web lecture is, first of all, what the p-center formulation looks like. 
Secondly, I would like you to take away how to explain mathematical models if you don't know exactly what they're actually doing. What I would like you to look into is first of all the number of solutions. So how many possible assignments do I have if I would like to open an ambulance locations among uh, a set of candidate locations. And lastly, I would like you to think about the disadvantage when considering service quality of the objectives that we just saw. Thank you very much.